What's up everybody? Welcome back or to the channel. So today we're going to be going over the new vehicle we just picked up. Now for some of you that might not already know, my wife used to drive a 2018 Ram 2500 Cummins. Now it was just the SLT model so it really didn't have many luxury amenities on the interior. She loved the truck. Obviously we're a big truck family and we really like diesel trucks. But driving around the diesel truck as a daily driver for her was getting a little bit cumbersome because she didn't really tow anything. And just driving the kids back and forth everywhere and running errands everywhere, she was just chewing through a lot of fuel. On top of that, the payment was pretty high. And in today's crazy inflated economy, we wanted to try to do a little cutting back. So we ended up selling that truck. So some of the things on her wish list was again, a truck, number one. Number two, she wanted something that was better on gas. Number three, she wanted something that was a little easier and more convenient to drive around and maneuver through parking lots and drive throughs and things like that. And number four, we wanted to lower the payment. And number five, she wanted a few extra luxury amenities on the interior, which at that time she currently did not have. So we did end up finding a truck that checked all the boxes. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's check it out. Okay, everybody, so there it is. What we have here is a 2021 Ram 1500 with the Hemi V8 with the e-torque mild hybrid system. Now this particular truck did come with a few extra packages and we're going to go over those today. So number one, this does have the big horn trim package, which already comes with a few nice features. It also has the technology package number two, which comes with extra features. This is also the midnight edition where everything's blacked out, the blacked out wheels, the blacked out grill here the blacked out bumpers, everything's pretty much blacked out, which we really like as well. Now we did buy this gently used, but it is certified from the Ram dealership. So it is covered under warranty up to seven years or up to 100,000 miles. It currently has right around 32,000 miles on it. So we are definitely covered with the warranty for a good while. Overall, it was in really good shape. There is a couple little nicks on it. So if we come over here, you'll see a couple little nicks on the front bumper here, which are probably just from road debris. Again, not a big deal. I'll get some touch up paint, touch that up, and we'll get that waxed and buffed and have it looking pretty nice. But overall, everything is in really good condition. It has these nice 20 inch blacked out Ram wheels. Now these are just pretty much all season tires. These are the 275 55 R 20s. Tread is pretty much around 90%, so we're good on that. It did come with some running boards here from Mopar. These are the Ram running boards. Now they do look a little weird on this truck because it is sitting a little bit low at factory height. But once we put a lift kit on it, I think that'll look a little bit better. It does come with the power mirror. So you hit a button inside and the mirrors will actually fold in. The windows are all tinted. If you come back here and look around the back, everything is in really good shape there. There is a little ding right here. I don't know if you can kind of see it, but it's like right there, a little dent, a little ding right there. But the dealership is going to try to work on getting that fixed and then come around here on the back on the bumper there's a little ding right there but they're going to try to fix that too i have that on a wheo so that's going to get fixed so that's pretty much the only damage the truck really had it is a dual exhaust so it has the dual exhaust tips in the bumper cut out with the dual exhaust on the back so that looks real good this truck also came with a Lear hardtop tonneau cover here that folds all the way up. So that's really nice there. And then on the interior here, it does have a spray-in bed liner as well. So those are some nice features that came with the truck that I don't have to upgrade to. Okay, coming around this side over here, has these nice tail lights here. It has some factory smoked out lenses there. Looks really good. That's part of the midnight edition there. Really happy with how the truck looks overall. Now, as you can see here from factory, it does sit a little bit lower compared to obviously a larger three-quarter or a one-ton truck, but we're going to fix that here in the near future. We're probably going to end up going with a six-inch lift kit, some larger wheels, and we have a lot of modifications coming to this truck here in the near future. So if you're interested in seeing a half-ton Ram 1500 e-torque being customized, definitely subscribe to the channel here because there's going to be a lot to come with that. Now, one thing I want to mention real quick on these trucks here, which is a pro and a con, depending on how you look at it, but the rear cab has been extended, but the bed has been shortened a little bit. Now, that didn't bother us because, again, I already have, you know, my own truck over there, which is an eight-foot bed. So as far as luggage and towing and overall storage, I end up using my truck for that. 
for my wife's truck. It's just for like groceries and the kids' sports equipment and stuff like that. Having a shorter five and a half foot box is perfect for her. But what's really nice is having the extra leg room in the back. I mean, it is huge. Take a look at this back seat. Look how much room is back here. I'm six foot three and with the seat all the way back for my long legs, I could sit here and still have plenty of leg room, which is awesome for a half ton truck. So let's take a look at the front real quick. Okay, now this Bighorn package does have cloth seats, but it does have a power driving seat. So as you can see here, has all your power options for the driver's seat. The seats are very comfortable, I will say that. We will be probably getting some leather covers for those down the road. It does have the center console here. Everything's pretty much blacked down on the interior, so it looks really good with that. It does have your power pedals. So it has power pedals to move your pedals forward and back. It does come with your tilt and telescopic steering wheel here, which is really nice as well. It does have the larger screen here. It does come with Apple CarPlay and Android CarPlay, but it's not wireless. So you have to use a cord plugged into this USB port or your USB type C port down here. You plug it into your phone and automatic CarPlay or Android Auto. So that's a nice feature there. It does come with the gear knob here that you can turn left to right to go from park, reverse, neutral, and drive. It has all your push button, four-wheel drive auto, four-wheel drive high, four-wheel drive low, and two-wheel drive. It also has this auto off feature button here, which I use because this particular truck has that feature when you come to a stop light or a stop sign, it actually shuts the engine off to conserve fuel and then as soon as you take your foot off the brake it takes about a second delay for the engine to turn back on and then you go as normal i don't really like using that it's just kind of annoying to me so what i do is every time you get in the vehicle you just press this little button here you press that it turns that feature off so when you come to a stoplight or a stop sign your your truck remains running so just wanted to point that out it does have the push button start here really nice instrument cluster over here so again really really nice looking overall it does have a few nice features such as the heated seats for the driver and the passenger. So you do have heated seats here and you do have a heated steering wheel. So if you hit this button in the middle, your steering wheel will actually heat up all the way around, which is really nice, especially in quarter climates. So again, up here, it does have some nice instrument clusters here. It does have a power rear window back here that you just use this button here that opens up that window. It has your typical glove box down here. And then if you press this button over here, you have some extra storage up here. So really nice features with that. Another feature this truck has is it has some of your buttons here for your towing, like your tow haul mode. It has your traction control off, your parking assist uh, rear off, your parking assist front off. So you can kind of play with those buttons and use them however you want. What's also cool, which I haven't tried yet, is this trailer steering system. So you have your trailer brake right here for, for towing but it has this feature here called trailer steering. How it's supposed to work, and again, I haven't tried this yet to verify, but when you have a trailer hooked up and you're in reverse backing up, you know how you typically have to turn the steering wheel the opposite way of where you need the trailer to go, you know, and it takes a little bit of time to get used to that. Obviously, the best way to kind of do it is grab the bottom of the wheel. So if you need to make the trailer go right, you take the bottom of the wheel and move it right. Or if you need the trailer to go left, you take the bottom of the wheel and move left. So that's typically the old school way of doing it. However, with this technology here, when you're in reverse, you could actually take this knob and turn it left to right like a steering wheel. And if you, if you need your trailer to go left, you just basically turn this knob a little bit to the left and it'll actually move your steering wheel to get the trailer to go left. And the same thing if you want to go right. So kind of a cool feature there. I don't know how useful it will be, but again, maybe this summer we'll try it out and see how it goes. But again, still pretty cool. Nice big um, area here for storage. So again, you have some places to put your phone. This adjustable storage slider bin here that slides forward and back, which is pretty nice. Open this up, have plenty of storage down here. Or the top button here, open that up, you have additional storage up here. So plenty of storage, seats are very comfortable. Interior is really nice, really happy with everything so far. Now again, if we come in the back here, the seats do fold up, they are a split. So this one folds up singly like that. This one folds up like that. And this truck did already come with the heavy duty Ram rubberized custom floor mats, which is really nice for the front and the back. So again, I don't have to upgrade those. You do have plenty of cup holders in here. So you have the cup holders up here in the front. You also have cup holders in your door over there. You have cup holders in the back here. And then when you have the seats down, you have the center fold down 
that also has cup holders. So that's really nice. You have your vents in the back that allows you to get some heating and cooling back here. You have all kinds of charging ports here, such as the USBs and USB type C. You also have some auxiliary outlet plugs like that. So again, that's really nice. So again, my wife was looking for a truck that had plenty of space, that had some nice features, especially for her. Power seats, she likes that. She likes the power pedals. She likes the heated seats. She likes the heating steering wheel. She likes the high quality radio system over here. Overall, she really loves this truck. Now, if we go into the hood, let me show you what the e-torque is and how that works. So if we come up under here, Okay, here is what it looks like under the hood. Everything's stock right now. So this right here is what is called the Ram E-Torque. Now this hybrid system right here replaces your traditional alternator. Now this system right here will charge your battery. Now there's two batteries on this truck. There's your main 12 volt battery, which pretty much starts your vehicle and runs all your 12 volt accessories, lights, radio, all that kind of stuff. And then in the back, which I don't have a way to actually get to it because I don't feel like taking the seat out, but in the back, behind the seat, like down low behind the panel, there's a larger lithium battery that has a lot more power to it that runs this system. So again, this system here will charge both batteries while it's running or while you're coasting down a hill, it's always charging your batteries. But the purpose of this system right here is pretty much a belt driven system to your drivetrain. It's what some might consider a mild hybrid. What this e-torque system does is when you're at a complete stop, you take your foot off the brake and you apply your foot on the gas. As you're getting the truck to move up to about 1500 RPMs, this system right here is giving you a boost of torque upwards of about 130 foot pounds of torque to help get the truck moving. That way you're using less fuel on the engine to get the truck moving. So it's gonna give you a little better fuel economy and save you a little bit more money on your gas usage but it shuts off somewhere around 1500 RPM, give or take, because once you start getting up into the higher RPMs, this system kind of shuts down while the Hemi V8 takes over. So again, this system here is only really helping you on the low end up to about 1500 RPMs. So again, really good system for your stop and go, really good system when you're trying to start up on a hill or maybe when you're towing. So when you have a heavy load and you're going from a stop to moving forward. This system here gives you a little bit of a boost on the low end to really get the truck moving before the Hemi really kicks in and takes over. So again, it's more of a mild hybrid system. You don't really notice anything as far as like the punchy torque in the beginning, but it might take you a little while of driving to notice it on your fuel mileage savings. But either way, this particular truck came with that system. I believe on some of these years here, this was an option that you can get added to the truck that might cost a couple thousand. Uh, I've heard that maybe some of the newer Rams might be moving to that as a standard. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it is kind of a cool system. It's not quite a full hybrid because this Hemi V8 is a beast. It does all the work for you. This, again, just gives you a little boost in the beginning. So kind of a cool system there. But if you happen to read reviews on the e-torque system, some people always worry about the battery dying and the battery costing a lot of money to replace. Or if this ever fails, this could cost you upwards of $1,500 or so to replace. But here's what's nice. This truck has low mileage and I have an extended certified warranty on it that covers me up to seven years or 100,000 miles. So either way, I'm covered and I'm pretty good. But overall, the truck drives fantastic plenty of power, plenty of zip. It's very quiet when you're driving. I probably will be doing an aftermarket cord air intake system here soon. I wouldn't mind trying some type of tuner like the Edge Pulsar or something like that. Maybe a high performance muffler system to really give you that beefy sound back. So again, these are all things that I'll be probably adding to this truck here this spring. So stay tuned for that. Overall, that is it. This is my wife's new truck. Again, we have a lot of plans for this truck and she's really happy with it. So if we go back to the original check boxes, which was important to her, which we said, number one, we wanted a truck, check. We wanted something that was comfortable and easy to drive and maneuver, check. We wanted something that was better on gas compared to the Cummins, check. We wanted something with a few extra luxury features inside, such as the heated seats, the heated steering wheel, the larger high definition screen, check. We got all that covered. And as far as the payment goes, we bought her 2018 Cummins used with a little bit of a down payment and we still had a 550 payment. 
Obviously, we've paid it down over the years. So when we sold it, we were able to recoup some of that money. We put that money down on this truck and now we have a 200 payment. So we went from a 550 payment down to a 200 payment. Check. So we pretty much checked all the boxes of what we were looking for in this transition from her last truck to this truck. And so far, we're really happy with it. My wife's really happy with it. And I think this truck's gonna be a lot of fun customizing this year, and I can't wait to get started. But let's go ahead and start the truck up, take it for a quick ride down the road so you can just kind of see how quiet it is in here. And then we'll come back and finish this video up. So we're gonna go ahead, put our foot on the brake. I already have the key right here. It just kind of sits in the vehicle or sits in your pocket. Press your start button. Again, really nice instrument gauge. Everything lights up, everything works. Looks fantastic. The screen looks really good over here. I mean, you can see how big this screen is. It's all touch screen. Looks really awesome. Has your Sirius XM radio. Has all your climate controls up here. If you wanna adjust any of those. Has different apps available. Has your navigation information here. Settings with all kinds of adjustability where you can adjust all kinds of settings to the truck. Here's your heated seats. We're gonna turn that off. Okay, turn all those off. Go ahead and turn my auto off on. Okay, we're good to go. So let's go ahead and back up a little bit. Turn that to reverse. Okay, let's go for a little spin here. So again, nice quiet truck in the cab. It drives really nice. The steering's nice and tight, has great feedback, great power when you step on the gas. The suspension feels really comfortable. The seats are very comfortable. So again, plenty of room, really nice. I mean, this really drives a little bit more like a luxury SUV than a truck. So that's kind of what my wife was looking for is she likes the truck, but she also likes the comfort and convenience of driving an SUV. But this truck right here is pretty much the best of both worlds. So if you're kind of torn between wanting a truck, but also liking the conveniences of an SUV, you might want to check out this truck because honestly, it really is a great combination of the two. It gives you the truck feel and the truck power and the truck storage and the truck off-road capabilities, but the interior, has more of a luxury SUV feel. And that's what really attracted my wife to this truck. And she's happy with it. I'm happy with it. It's actually a nice truck to drive. It's fun, plenty of zip. And I think after we add a few modifications to it, such as a lift kit, larger off-road wheels, maybe a tuner to it, some aftermarket engine parts, things like that, this truck is gonna really be awesome and I can't wait. I mean, real quick, I just wanna show you, look how nice that screen is on the reverse screen. I mean, this color, and brightness and high definition quality looks awesome. I mean, it really does look great and I'm really happy with how well this screen looks. Okay, everybody, so that's it. So that was just a brief introduction to the new truck. Again, this is a 2021 Ram 1500 Hemi V8 with the e-torque system. So far, we love the truck and we have a lot of plans to modify it this year. So if you're interested in seeing the modifications we do to this truck, definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because there's gonna be a lot to come with this truck. But that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope this video helps some of you out. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button and like this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And also, if you happen to have any suggestions or things you would like to see done to this truck this year, Put them in the comments section as well because I might be doing some of them. But again, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you. I truly appreciate all of your support. And as always, see you in the next video.